friends, Sandra here and welcome back to another Project Life Process video. I know it's been a little bit, but I'm here and I'm finally making a video for you guys. Thank you for your patience. I'm just figuring out where I want my photos as usual and I will be using my Creative Retreat Kit for this video to basically just highlight and embellish um, my pages, which as you guys know, I love their kits and I am on their design team. And as always, I will leave a link in the description box so you guys can check them out and see what they're all about. So basically I'm going to make a special card for that one, and if you follow me on Instagram you probably already saw it. <laughs> so that little diamond shape and that little circle are from the Creative Retreats kit this month. I really, really love the colors in this month's kit because if you guys don't know, pink, teal, and yellow are some of my favorite color combinations ever. So I was super excited and I also love diamond shapes and geometric shapes, so I thought this kit was just perfection. So I'm just adding that to the corner of this picture and this is part of Sandra Palooza because this is my birthday month so I wanted to make this spread extra special because it is for my birthday month and um, basically the first thing I did on my birthday was to go have some amazing breakfast and look how pretty those freaking glittery hearts are that actually comes in this month's kit as well and those are just amazing I just want like a million of those <laughs> and I added one of those as well and then for this next card I actually had it from I believe um, the June Project Life kit um, from Studio Calico I don't subscribe to them, but I do pick up their kits occasionally now and again, so if you want to check them out too, I will see if I can leave a link for them as well. But, yeah, um, I mostly more enjoy making my own cards in general, and also printables are really fun as well. And then those little um, July Alpha is something I had in my stash. As you guys know, I think I have like three packs of those Heidi Swap like, ghost letter kind of things. And then this is a stamp set that I designed, as most of you know if you watch my channel. And so I'm going to use the little flamingo from that stamp set. I'm just obsessed with flamingos right now as well as pineapples. So I figured I would add a little flamingo to this card just to jazz it up a little bit. I didn't want to add too much to this card because I just loved the gold foil polka dots and little um, black dots so much that I didn't want to take away from it. So I just glued down those letters with my Tombow glue and my little flamingo, which I will also have a link to my shop if you haven't checked it out and you want to pick up that stamp set. I will have a link in the description box below. You still have time to pre-order it if you'd like. And then for this next card, which actually I cut down from an American Crafts uh, paper line I had. It was one of their summer ones, their older ones. And it was kind of like the perfect color yellow to go with the other accents that I had in here. So I just cut down that 6x6 pad and used that as a 3x4 card, which is what I usually do with my 6x6 pads. And that craft and gold glitter tag is also from the Creative Retreat kit this month. And it's really, really pretty. And it goes actually perfect with the hearts that come in the kit. So I really love it. And I also love that little like twine gold um, string it has in it. And then the good stuff. That little circle is like my favorite circle. It's got a cloud in it. And it's like the perfect shade of pink. So I knew I wanted to use that. And I wanted to use some thread to kind of accent it. So I pulled out this kind of like sea foamy green thread I had. And then this light pink to kind of just put behind it and I'm just using some regular tape I used to kind of just put it down and then I decided to just staple right in between to kind of just reinforce it a little bit more since you're not going to see that staple anyway and then I just kind of used Azot which is also from Thermoweb um, and it's kind of one of the perfect glues for when something kind of hard to glue down because it's got some texture to it um, Azot works perfectly in that sort of scenario for me I've found anyway and there we have that card and I did also add a little glitter heart to that that you will see if you didn't see it there you will see in the pictures I always put at the end of this anyway and then for this next card this 3x4 card is actually from the Heidi Swap Project Life kit um, it's one of my favorite Project Life kits ever so I will try and link that if they still sell it online but literally um, it just has a very pastel-y pretty colors and it actually the main colors in that are pink teal and yellow so there you go and then that little strip uh, that I'm writing on actually came in this month's kit as well, so it kind of coordinated perfectly, which is why I'm kind of just repeating these colors a lot, because A, I love them, and B, they go perfectly with this. And if you follow me on Instagram, you actually saw that photo um, when I went to Staples on my birthday because I was looking for some fun kind of things, and now they carry Paper Chase, which used to only be carried, I believe, in the UK, so I was really excited to just check out that aisle in that section and then I had these enamel dots from my stash that I just wanted to add to accent it because I didn't want to add too much to this anyway and then that little heart that I had from a Teresa Collins enamel pack that I had in my stash as well 
And now I'm going to create a shaker pocket. And I'm going to say this again, but if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I showed the shaker pocket because I couldn't help myself because I thought it was so gorgeous and fun and cute. And this is the first shaker pocket that I'm making for actually my project life. Even though I've made some for my um, planners, I haven't made one for my project life yet, so I was really excited to use my Fuse tool. And I do have a full review on this Fuse tool if you haven't seen that, that might help you. And I will also leave links to where you can purchase this tool and any of the other products that I use in my videos. As always, I will link in the description box to help you guys find it a little bit easier. But I really love this tool and I'm just using it on top of packaging because I was lazy and didn't want to pull out my glass mat basically. And that little yellow square is actually from this month's kit, or not square, but triangle, um, is from this month's Creative Retreat kit. And um, I believe it was from the Pink Fresh Studio line that you got a bunch. So you get some in your this month's kit if you get a Creative Retreat kit or thinking of getting one. And they're so gorgeous. They're transparent and super yummy. And I absolutely love them because since I love vellum and things that are transparent, I was like, I need to use one of these in my spread. And the shaker pocket, um, I'm adding little hearts, little um, glitter circles, I'm adding micro marbles, I just wanted to make it really fun. And then I did decide to add some of the flamingos from the stamp set I designed because I couldn't help myself. I was like, these are going to look so cute in here. So I stamped them in pink and in mint and then I cut fussy cut them and added them in there. And you might think that that would be hard to cut fussy cut, but it really wasn't. And if you have a cameo, you could always use your... Um, your pick mat where you just take a picture and it, it'll cut it out but I just decided to fussy cut it because I didn't really think it was that complicated to and I just love the way that looks like that didn't want to add too much but I wanted to add just enough to just really make it like stand out and it is behind a grid um, pocket life photo or pocket life photo not a uh, <laughs> a pocket life card that I had for my previous spread but I don't mind the white in the background I think it looks good and it kind of accents it even more so so that's just a tip in case you want to do shake cards but you don't like it being transparent if it's behind a white background that's perfectly cool and it looks usually pretty nice like that as well so you're golden and then of course I had to document the fact that I've basically been doing a marathon of Roswell on Netflix um, I'm pretty sure I was like in high school when that was out and I've always loved that show and every couple of years I go and I rewatch the whole show <laughs> because I miss it and I loved that show as corny as it might seem now I, I was obsessed with it it was like Twilight before Twilight you know and plus I love sci-fi things so you know I had to both of those little banner pieces I'm working with there are also from this month's kit, that little diamond as well as that banner. And then the vellum circle is just from my own personal stash, which I punched out with, uh, I believe, a two and a half inch circle. And then I added a glitter heart to that. I didn't want to add too much to this card. I love just layering a few little bits together. And then this other little um, kind of diamond shape, I believe that's what that is. Um, that is also from this month's kit. I absolutely love that. Um, I love the colors, I love the shape of it, it's just gorgeous pretty much in its entirety. And then I had to document Terminator because if you don't already know this about me, I'm a huge sci-fi nerd and I love Terminator. I remember watching it with my dad when I was younger and we loved it then and I loved it now and I was waiting for them to actually make like a really good remake instead of a crappy one <laughs> so yeah we did like I had to see it I was sad I couldn't see it with my dad because I'm not living in the same state as him but I was like I need to see this it came out the same week as my birthday so yeah basically it was no question I need to see it and I honestly loved it I know it ha didn't get as many um people going to see it but I think that's maybe because I don't know, maybe younger people have no idea how awesome it is. I have no idea, but I pretty much loved it and had to document it because I thought it was amazing. And yeah, I hope one day my kids will watch the old Terminators and love them too. <laughs> and be sci-fi nerds like their mama. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just ingrained in me, I think. My dad loves Star Wars, Star Trek. I love all those things too. I just always have. Um, I don't think my brother or my sister are half as into that kind of stuff as I am, but that's okay because, you know, you like what you like. So I also added, as you can see, a little vellum circle, um, which I actually had that in my stash because my friend Melissa sent that to me. So luckily I didn't have to worry about stamping and die cutting one myself. And then I'm using that Summer Lovin' stamp, which is actually from my stamp set as well, which I thought would be perfect for this and fits perfectly in there because literally I was Summer Lovin' because all the best movies come out during summer. And to all the subscribers that have told me that it's their birthday this month too, holler! Happy birthday to you guys as well. Cancers are awesome. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool that to be a summer baby. I used to not like it when I was younger because people would go on vacation during my birthday. So then like half my friends were on vacation during my birthday, but I'm kind of over it now, you know, I kind of like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, that card is pretty much done. Just added some journaling and those amazing, um, Pink Fresh Studio, uh, thickers that you saw me use earlier. You get a pack of those in your kit this month. They're adorable as like that's all I can say I just want like five more of them and I'm adding some watercolor to this card because the yellow on this card was a little bit too faded in comparison to the yellow I had on my 3x4 so I kind of just wanted to like pump pump it up pump the <laughs> sorry guys it's late at night and I'm just like all energetic doing this because it's been a while since I did a voiceover for Project Life also as you guys might know I'm obsessed with boba drinks and that one in specific is called a lot in specific is called the cloud nine drink it's amazing it really is like if I could have one every day I would but then I would turn into Jabba the Hutt so I try to be good about that but literally it's it's addicting if you've never had a boba drink you should really try it I love all types of Asian foods and drinks so I'm always looking for like I'm always experimenting and trying stuff I tried that and just fell in love with it like I think it was like last year or something and I love those little goby things you get in the bottom you know I think I'm saying that right, I have no idea. So yeah, I added those thickers and all the thickers come in all those thickers come in different colors, which is really cool, and you get a full pack in your creative retreat kit, which I think is really amazing. Like that alone is like worth it to me because the as far as the price goes. I just wanted to add only a tiny bit of journaling because the card kind of stood up for itself. Like sometimes I either want to put tons of stuff on a card or I want to kind of keep it simple because I just love the way it looks. And I just added the glitter heart to that, and yeah, pretty much my spread is done, you guys. I really love the way it came out, and I hope you guys do too. And as always, I will leave links to everything I use in the description box, as well as my creative retreat kit. And if you guys want to see more from me, be sure and subscribe and like this video and leave me some comments. Woo -hoo. a chance to pre-order my new stamp set then in the words of Gwen Stefani what you waiting what you waiting for and if you want to secure a copy just make sure and go in the description box below for the link to my website and if not the release will be in a few days so hopefully you'll be able to snag one then thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later